welcome back to the channel all my Dungeons and Dragons fans. Thank you for choosing to watch this video as we start our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Anybody who has ever played any of the Baldur's Gate's games knows that this is most likely going to be a fantastic game. Uh, I have seen a couple bad reviews on it. One person said it was almost like if Michael Bay was your dungeon master, then that's what Baldur's Gate 3 is like. I disagree. I actually played a little bit of this the other day. I uh, live streamed it and that was going to be the first video in a series here. I was going to start playing it live, but I wasn't happy with the video quality after everything was said and done and how things kind of went. So I decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and start over. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and do new game. So, as I said, I have played a little bit of this game already. Uh, I am really enjoying it. In fact, it's really making me want to get back into some Dungeons and Dragons. I'm seriously thinking about starting a, uh, a maybe a D&D online campaign, like actually being the DM for it. But uh, let's watch a little bit here of this intro here. All right, we got a pretty grotesque and dark kind of intro there for the game before we start our actual game itself, start creating our character. Uh, giving us a little bit of an introduction into the Illithids, in other words, known as the Mind Flayers. If you guys don't know a whole lot about Dungeons and & Dragons and Forgotten Realms and all that, uh, we'll try to do a quick crash course. So basically, the uh, the green lady there that kind of looks like a, an orc if you're a World of Warcraft player, that's actually a gif or a gif yankee or for those out there who actually pronounce gifs like jif i guess it's a jif yankee but uh, it's a gif yankee so <laughs> it, it's never jif it's always gif and yeah so they are actually at odds with each other at all times like the gif yankee and the mind flayers hate each other they're they've been in a war for so long and uh that's kind of where we're coming in at the uh, the mind flayers are almost kind of extinct and they really just want to build their empire back so uh in a way i kind of feel sorry for them but in another way they are the main villains of the story so let's go ahead and create our character so in Baldur's gate 3 this is very very early access um they have lots and lots of stuff that they want to add to the game and they will eventually be adding it including lots of new player characters lots of new races uh, different classes, uh, more of the story, uh, so much more that they'll be adding into this game. And this is just the tip of the iceberg right here that we're going to start out with. So our first thing we're going to do is, of course, choose our origin and our names. So I think I, we can't choose any of these in early access. We can't choose Asteria and Lazelle. We can't, none of that's actually able to be chosen. We can choose male or female, though. I'm going to choose male. I'm going to choose my name. Um... What is my name going to be? Let's see. Uh, I always kind of go with one name in particular for all of my characters. Uh, I like Drakkar. And yes, I know it's the... Is, you're thinking to yourself, hey, isn't that a cologne? Yes. Yes, it is. It is definitely a cologne. 
and that's going to be the name of my character. Uh, select our background. Now, I think for him, I think we're going to do a ranger character. I'm kind of also kind of thinking about maybe doing a, maybe a warlock, possibly, but maybe not for this playthrough. Let's try out, let's see, uh, Outlander. Grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. I think that's, that's perfect right there for him. So we're going to move on from origin. We're going to go over to race. And we're going to choose, let's see here. Uh, we're going to be human. That's the perfect thing. So we get race features with that. Every race has their own features. Other races you can choose, of course, are elves, tieflings, drow. The Gith Yankee, uh, the Dwarves, Halflings, Half Elves. I hate Halflings. I hate Halflings so much. But yeah, you can uh, you can choose any of these to be your character. So we're going to go Human. And then we're going to go with Appearance. And we can even change our voice. There's not a whole lot of cho voices to choose from there in the beginning. There's only like four, two females and two males. So. Hells. Something just woke up down here. A tiny. The stone's less worn here. I like this Recently one. Uncovered. We're going to go with that one. And let's see. Let's go with skin color. I uh, don't know why it's not letting me choose. You have to change the face, maybe? All skin color? Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, I could choose all kinds of stuff. Ooh. I didn't even realize that the first time I played through this. There we go. Okay, that's that's probably good there. Let's go with that. And let's choose our hairstyle. So I've went through like all of the different hairstyles. And we'll go through them a bunch right here real quick. So you can kind of see what all we have there's a ton of hairstyles this is probably some of the best hairstyle selection i've seen in any role-playing game there's a lot of different variety here lots and lots and lots so we'll just kind of go through these real quick so you guys at home who haven't paid for the early access can kind of see what all there is in here and you can move your character around and look at him as well so there is that let's go back one let's check that one out that one's Nah, that's a bit too fancy for me. I'm pretty sure I already know which, which hairstyle I want. Or we can go bald. But we're going to go with this one here. And let's change our facial hair as well. Let's zoom in here and look at facial hair. Uh, let's see. I think I kind of like that one. But we're going to need to change that face. That head's totally not working for me. I think head one. I can kind of look a little older. Let's give him some blue eyes. Let's give him... We actually have all eye colors. Look, I can give him like totally black eyes. Look at that. Give him white eyes. Demonic white. Opal. That almost looks blind. Elven green. It's black. Elven silver. Ooh, look at that. All right, we're going to go blue, though. And for our hair color, I thought about doing, like, black. But I think... I don't want to go blonde. Kind of... Do we have gray? Yeah, we have gray hair color down here. Gray two. Gray three. I think I'm going to go with something a little more like this. Yeah. I want to make like an older style character. Kind of the matches me. Let's go back up here to face though. Can I change the face around a little bit more? How many faces do we have? We have head four. Head five. Head five looks older, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with head five. Or four. Was it four? We're going to go with five. Five. Five's fine. Uh, all right, and moving on. I could spend an entire episode just designing my character. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I love doing this stuff like this. 
No tattoos for my guy, no makeup for my guy. He's all good on that. Classes, now, this is the different classes we have available. I was really hoping that there would be a monk class, because I've always wanted to play like a blind monk type of character. Very uh, kung fu-like, uh, where he's blind and his favorite weapon is like the, the staff. And he like kicks people's asses with a staff, but he's blind, like Daredevil. So, except instead of having like supernatural powers, it's just like really well developed, um, like other senses and stuff. So, uh, we are going to go with Ranger because I love using a bow and arrow. That the bow is my favorite weapon in any game. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with. Uh, typically, I like to play the type of character that hunts the undead, but I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go Maze Breaker. So we're gonna be a wizard hunter. Um, that's for the natural explorer task. Let's do Wasteland Wonder or Code, which is going to uh, basically you've spent endless days surviving desolate tundras, gain resistance to code damage, taking only half damage from it. So I wish I was like that. I hate cold weather. All right, that's pretty much that. Then we have our skills. We can change any of these we want. We can have up to three proficients, but. I'm going to leave all of these the way they are. We also automatically get athletics and survival, nature, stealth, perception. So we get a couple of extras there. Um, and skills without proficiency, these are everything that the ranger is good at around through here. So, all of that down through there. And abilities, we can assign abilities. This is what we got. So, our intelligence is a little low there. Uh, let's take a little bit off of wisdom and put into intelligence. There we go. And I'm kind of thinking, should I take one more? Yeah, we'll take one more off of Wisdom and put it there into Intelligence. We've got a kind of a nice rounded character right there. That's pretty good. So this is our guy. This is Jakar. He is our Ranger here. And let's see, can we go back? Yeah, skills, abilities. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Now, this is something I'm not sure what is going on just yet, but it wants me to choose what attracts me. So, I'm a huge fan of Liv Tyler and Lord of the Rings, so I'm going to go with an elf. And, hi elf, let's see. Let's go with, uh... Hells, something just woke up down here. Let's see what voice... A tidy slot. The four is. Hells. A tidy slot, but no rune. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. And for her face is fine. Let's give her, I can give her purple hair. No, that's skin, my bad. Ooh, that's a little too yellow. Warm tone. Let's go with that. Okay, eye color. Let's give her sapphire eyes. That's kind of pretty. Yeah. Uh, it's almost blue, it's almost green. I like that. Hairstyle, I'm not happy with this hairstyle. Let's see what else we got. Um, I don't know where this like plays in to the game at, like whatsoever, where we actually choose our, like why we're choosing who we dream of. I really like this hairstyle here. This is really cool. That's a beautiful hairstyle. I would totally date a girl if she had a hair like that. But let's see what else we can have. Um, this is also nice here, hairstyle one for the female. Uh, that was not bad. But I definitely want to try to find something a little more... a little more elvish warriors. Kind of. Thinking maybe that. Let's see. Black and red. I do like redheads quite a bit. Brown. I'm gonna go with that black and red. That seems cool. But not quite this hairstyle just yet. What else? Ooh, that one's nice. I like that. We might go with that. Number 13. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go with 13. There we go. 13 it is. No tattoos. Makeup style. No makeup. Makeup one. Makeup two. Makeup three. Makeup four. Makeup five. Ooh. 
Ooh, no. Uh, nope. Excuse me, turn around here so I can look at you. Uh, running makeup? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, give her cat eyes. Ooh. Six. Um, let's go with this one. And apparently I can choose her makeup color, too. Ooh. Hot chocolate. Let's go with some hot chocolate. Ruby. Ripe. Earth. Leaves. Oh, you know what? That's too... I like that. Yeah, Ooh, there's also Midnight. Let's go with Midnight. I'm a big fan of purple. Purple it is. Midnight purple. This is good. I can't see anything else past this, so I think that's everything we can do on her. We don't have a name for her or anything. It, she is who she is, so... I believe that's all we can do. Let's go ahead and hit Venture Forth, and let's continue on with the introduction to the game.
Alright, and there's our intro. Now we can actually start playing the game here a little bit. So let's kind of basically what's happening is uh, we're waking up after being imprisoned there inside of this. And we have, this is the pods, the Mind Flayer pods that we were in. Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. You can kind of move around here. So basically it plays a little bit like, uh, if you've never played any of the Baldur's Gate games or anything like that, if you played Diablo, it plays a little bit like that, except it's more of a turn-based RPG. It also has multiplayer available. It is still very early access, though, so... Someone else got out. Yeah, so the gif that was in here earlier, she got out. Or the jif, if you're being stubborn. Um, let's see here. Might be other survivors. I mean, there might be. Let's go check out... This is where he got those things out. Let's go look at this. This is the pool that... Thing came from the parasite now writhing behind your eye so we can investigate so we're gonna do this we're gonna investigate the pod and this is something I really like about this game is it actually shows me the dice and stuff up here the d20 so let's do an intelligence check I failed I need a nine I got a five I you did notice not make my nothing road. more than meets the eye so let's, uh, I don't know if I want to reach towards this, it's but we're going to do it. It's crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing volatile brine as it collapses. Well, I guess it exploded. So, there's that. Can we get anything out of that? If you hold your mouse over top of it, it tells you fire does 1d4 damage. That's funny. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what we have here. What are these brine bulbs? Uh, so you can hold your mouse over top of different things and see if you have any actions available to you. Some games have a, a button that will tell you, you can hit the button and it tells you what everything around you is that you can actually interact with. I don't see anything, I don't know if there's anything in this game like that. There is some things over here on the side that tells you what to do. There's like basic movement, click on the ground, hold the left mouse button to begin exploring. Uh, so yeah. So I, by holding the mouse button down, you can kind of drag him around like that. Or you can just click where you want him to go. Like that. Basic camera control. Uh, hold your middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera, zoom in or out using the mouse scroll up and mouse scroll down. You can also move the camera with the WASD keys. So I'm a big WASD guy, but we can also that too and let's click on this Odd. I feel better ah the gentle tickling of the tentacles for restoration of health are we an anime girl I don't know let's uh let's move on in here let's see dice this tells us about determine outcomes dice are referred to as D if you, if you guys have played Dungeons and Dragons or any kind of RPG you know what dice do. D20s, D6s, D, all of those things like that. Uh, let's go through this oddly shaped doorway here. And see where this breaks takes us to. Ooh, we got Devil some dead King. imps. Am I in the hells? Ooh, potion of healing. I'll take that. Uh, ooh, scroll of firebolt. Probably use some of that eventually. Let's see what's over here. Something's talking to me as well. A viscous yeah, chair. Right. A brain jar. Odd. Uh, what, what else is on the table here? Can I zoom in? No, I can't. There is a caustic bowl. We'll take that. A mucid shell. Another mucid shell. Another sodalite shell. I don't know what these are for, but we're gonna pick them up anyway. Release us. Illithid records. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. So mind flares are psionic. 
again, another crash course here in some D&D for those who don't know a whole lot about the, you know, the actual realms and all that. Let's see what we got over here. Here we have a cerebral aquarium. Brains. Interesting. There's a dark mind. What is that? A brain in a jar. Some more Eldritch tablets. Thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Gith Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Okay. Let's see, we've uh, looked at everything around here that we can. I don't see anything else. Let's go see if we can figure out what this is talking to us. Neutral apparatus. Doesn't do Doesn't anything. do anything. Let's hop on board this. Neural apparatus. I thought that said neutral. It's neural. So we got an elevator here taking this up. Brain jars, brain jars. Are the brains in the jars what's talking to us? It might be. Mirnath. Release us. Oh, they they want me to release the jars. Curious. Brains. Curious. Brain here. jars. Mind sanctuaries. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest. Let's see what's in the chest. Caustic bulbs. Creates a puddle of caustic brine that deals acid damage. We are trapped. That could come in handy. Alright, let's uh, interact with this. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flares who abducted you. Okay, so you do checks can happen in the background without you needing to do anything. That's cool. So I just did an Arcana intelligence check, and apparently I passed. Uh, I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. The enemy. So many enemies. Uh. Let's see, I can destroy the brain or I can keep talking to it. Well, let's keep talking to it. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. So, let's see. Let's do... I'm going to destroy it. Let's uh, inspect it. Oh, got a nice row on that one. You notice a Dima... A swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Please. Before they return. They return. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's try medicine. You have nine or better. Ooh, just got it. Brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Let's 
we could spare it. Any injuries might weaken it, but we could also give it a shot. Let, hmm. It's an intellect devourer, so I think we should try this at least. We need a 12 or better. Well, that's a failure. That's a critical failure. Just stick my thumb in it. I think I killed it. Creepy little thing. Uh oh. Combat happens in turns. Each turn you can do one action and one bonus action. Okay, so looks like we're fighting this thing. Turn order. I roll the dice, decides uh, basically initiative. So if you guys have ever played D&D, &D, uh, you roll for initiative, and that determines who goes first. Um, where is our things? Combat tutorial. Your available actions are highlighted. Bonus actions tells you down here. These are actions you can perform on top of your normal actions. And combat tutorials show how much distance you can cover during your turn. So this is right there. we we'll finish this. So... Is this what's attacking us? Let's do uh, let's do a main hand attack. Natural twenty. I killed it. Let's check this poor guy out. I mean, he has no brain, so obviously there's not much he can do. That was a quick combat. Let's see, we checked that already. Is there anything else I can look at over here? Oh, yes. There's a, another chest over here. Let's go check this out. Ooh, gold. Listen to the money talk. Curious. Alright, so a couple ways we can go, I think, or not. Looks like this is the only way we can go. Let's go this way. Outside. Dragons! Apparently they found us. All right, inventory. Let's see what it says about inventory here. Uh, press I to access inventory. Okay. Healing. Important to heal after a fight. Certain potions, spells, and food can heal you. On this not load, restoration stations can also heal you. Okay. What is what is going on with that? Okay. Remember, this is early access, guys. So we're gonna see some weird things happen. Jumping. Use jump to reach. Higher places. Okay, so it's gonna tell us how to jump here. So we choose jump, and then choose where to jump to. I think the camera got stuck on something was most of the problem there. I'm sure they'll fix most of these. Just gotta be ironed out. Auto save was successful. I have successfully made my saving throw to save the game. <laughs> Abomination. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your Why skin she tingles. For? Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squaw. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Uh, transform? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geek. Mind flayers. Well, I don't want to be a mind flayer. 
Uh, is the helm our way out of here? Control of the Gaarth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gate captors. Is it where we might gain control of the Gaarth, the ship? Once in command, we will deal. With it. Uh, oh, okay. who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival, and you mine, though it pains me to say it. She's not happy with me. Okay, onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Can I hide? Guess it doesn't matter. Ninety-five percent chance of hit for two damage. Okay, let's move in. Okay, can I? I don't have enough to do anything else. Let's see. Dip coat your weapon in something. Let's see. Shove. Hide. Nothing I really like there. Can I throw anything? No. Okay. Guess I'm ending my turn. Melee and ranged weapons. So we'll move her into range. Click over to a ranged attack. Let's go after the imp. Ooh, nice hit. Very nice hit. She's done. That imp is dead. Alright, I don't want to do anything else, so I'm fine. Ouch. Well, I mean, you did his best to try to hit me. Ooh. Wish I'd done more damage than that. Second win. Draw on your stamina to protect yourself. Once per day, you can regain 1d10 plus 1d... Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's in turn and see what we can do here. Ooh, that was a good hit. Excellent hit. One imp down. Head for the high ground. 90% chance. Eh, that wasn't too bad. And I'm pretty sure I got this. This should kill it. There we go. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. She said I was surprisingly now, adequate. The Not the first time I've heard that before. Uh, let's see. Eh, nothing there. Oh yeah, scroll of mage armor. Got everything off of that imp. There's a dead intellect devourer. Let's see what he has. Nothing. These are Nautiloid tanks. Anything over here? Don't really see much else. Let's uh, see what's on that imp. Oh, long sword? 1d8 slashing? Yes, please. Inventory. I have a long sword. Let's... Where do I put my... Equipment. How do I control my character? Character sheet. Oh, there we go. I have a short sword now, so can I use a long sword? It's dippable. Cleave action. Should be fine. I think I'm good with that. That'd come in handy. Oh, there's a dead mind flare. Uh, a spiked bulb. Sticky, sap-like substance trickles down the spikes of this bulb. 
so I can throw that. And then another avoid bulb creates a force that pulls in all nearby unfixed items. Huh. Can I do anything with these? I can't move anywhere that way. This is where we came from over here. There's nothing over here. This, uh, this Mind Flayer ship reminds me of Planescape. Alright, let's restore ourselves. There we go. Uh, he has a small bottle and some goat on him. Sounds good, take it. Daenerys. Uh, that person's on fire above us. Alright, nothing on that. Careful! Oh, got me! Got me! Got me! Right in the gut! Tell the babes I'll be alright. The Mind Flayers have already enthralled her. Leave her, or we will share her fate. Um, okay then. So let's see. Person's on fire. No, 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 no. I don't want to go up there. I want to go back in here. Let's go outside here. I'm looking for anything I can get to use as weapons and stuff. Oh, here's some dead imps. Dead Thrall has a dagger on it. I'll take that dagger. I'll lend a hand, won't you, love? There's a rat in the kitchen. Ten red rats. Uh, and they're flying and they're clawing. Well, I don't think rats are red and I don't think they fly and claw. Flying and clawing and coming again and again. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. So they literally think they're being controlled. So or they're being controlled and they literally think they're fighting rats and other things. Surprise! Stealth was successful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go with hand. Hand to hand. Kill this thing. That's it for me. Ouch. Where do you think you're flying off to? You ain't getting away. Oh, good shot. Mugwort bundle. Okay. Let's leave that. There we go. Why don't you control my character? Nothing on that. Let's grab everything we can in there. Enthralled student. I'm a bit peaked, Mum. I think I'll go to bed early. I don't think you're gonna be going to bed. We could maybe help these things out. We need to get to the helm, though. All right, let's move on. Let's see what anything on this body. Uh, a quill and gold. 
I'll take the quill. I can't see where I'm going. Cut through that. Auto save successful. What do we have in here? Isik, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. So I can't push the button. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. What if I push this button? Oh, okay, that. Ow! Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Crap. Is oh no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Crap. Okay, I have screwed this up. Oh, that's not good. I mean, he's just a spellcaster. He should be able to die. Let me out. All right, that one's down. Anything on him? A candle, some goad. Candle and goad. What happens if we push the other button? Alright, let's uh, restore our bodies to full health. Somebody's trapped in here. Let's see what's going on. New friends. You get me out of this town thing. We have no time for stragglers. Hmm. Seems to be magic at work. Let's check my arcana. I need a four or better. Seventeen. Warding runes. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. Let's see, um, look for a latch that the might open a lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Yeah, maybe. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Yep, yeah, alright. Sorry, lady. Can't help you. Oh, we have an elaborate rectory over here. Needs the key. With some scrolls. A scroll of inflict wounds. We need a key to open that reliquy. Uh, let's head. Again, let's head through the uh, weirdly shaped door. Intellect devour. Scrah. How many hosts of these gay infected? There's a lot of people in here. So we can touch the sigil. 
What happens if we touch the side, Joe? Could mean anything. Can't read it. Could mean anything. I failed my arcana check. Oh, there's a... A drained cleric. Oh, he has a key on him. An elaborate key. I bet that elaborate key goes into the elaborate chest. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Nothing new there. No women ever notice me. All right, let's go on. On we go. On we go. Is this thing gonna attack me, or what's it doing here? I'm just gonna run around. Oh, there's a necklace. How did I miss that? I totally missed that before. Let's open this. Oh yeah, gold. And an onyx. Ah, oh, yes, the gentle tickling of the health. tentacles to restore Once my health. Inside, do as I say. This way? I have successfully made my saving throw for auto saving. There's a dead intellect devour. Some other stuff in here too. Let's go. Wait a minute. Let's move here first. Can I dip my weapon? Oh, I can. Oh, fire damage. I love it. Kill it! Okay, she's not very good at killing things. We need to get out of here now. Not much else I can do here. What about dipping my bow? One well, of my bow's already on fire. So. Let these intruders open. We have the mind flare being attacked by the demon up there. We have the little imps here that are attacking us. And in the meantime, we need to get up there, so. All right. That amp is dead. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Go for it. Kill it. Fantastic. That was a hell of a shot. Will have your head. Okay, let's see. Let's go forward, I guess. Can I let's try to attack the commander? Okay, that was a critical miss. Let's check the bodies here. Take all the weapons we can get. Can't move any further. But I will fire. Oh, I've got a few hits on him. Not much, but. In the sticks. Why are we helping the mind player again? I'm not 100% sure, but. Let's try to get as far as up here as we can. 
end her turn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I already ended her turn. Damn. Nothing on any of these. He feels threatened. Oh, your spine is uh oh. Okay, I think she was supposed to talk there, but she didn't. Guess there's nothing else I can do. Oh, wait, there we go. Try to kill it. Oh, that's her. Not enough. For, okay, she's done. I need to move up here. Nothing on that thing. Let's try to kill that. Uh, not the greatest hit in the world. Let the intruders open. A furnace is ours. <laughs> okay. Getting in range to try to hit me. Oh. Okay. You want to play that game? All right, she's done with hers. Let's go with uh let's go with sword. Oh, a critical miss. No. Strike! Why is this thing not dead yet? Uh oh. Let's drink a healing potion. I don't know if I need it or not, but it's probably a good idea. Let's check the dead mind player. Nothing on him. Check the dead demon. Nothing on him. Okay, go. Throw their corpses in the stick! We got two more demons coming at us. That one's stunned. Let's go. Not enough movement. All right, but we can... Get him with a bow, maybe. Okay, and then move forward. Forward, Istic, before more dragons come. Actually. Okay, I don't have enough. Okay. We'll just... We'll kill that. Move up to it. Take it. The Mind Flayer is almost dead. The Mind Flayer is dead. Alien transponder. We've made it to the transponder. Alright. Let's get out of here. That dragon looks hungry.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Join me for the next one as soon as possible, uh, as soon as I can get around to actually filming it and getting it up on here to watch. I hope you guys will watch it then. In the meantime, I'm going to head out of here, and I will see you in the next episode. If you haven't already subscribed to me, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and hit that like button if you enjoyed the playthrough here that we've done today. I'm out of here, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time.